Hello, how are you? Thank you for joining us today on this, uh, for actually tonight, for 12-step Compline. We'll be starting in a few minutes. I need to get a little closer here. <laughs> if you like uh, <clears throat> Compline, like us. And uh, if you have prayers, please put them in your comment there. So Compline is a service for the evening. And the 12 steps are there to uh, let people in 12-step recovery know that the church uh, supports them in their recovery. And for people who are not in recovery, to let them know that how spiritual the 12 steps are. Welcome, Frida. So good to see you. Welcome. Carl and Vicki, good to see you. So we'll begin our service of the evening, a 12-step order for Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Step one, we admitted we, admitted we, we were, were powerless, powerless and, and that our, our lives had become unmanageable. Step two, we, we became came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore, restore us to sanity. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Step three. We made, we made the decision, decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God. Third step prayer. God, I offer myself to you to build with me and to do with me as you will. Relieve me of the bondage of self that I may better do your will. Take away my difficulties that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help, through your power, your love, and your way of life. May I do your will always. Amen. Amen. Step four. We made, we made a, a searching and fearless moral inventory of, of ourselves. ourselves. Step five. We, we admitted, admitted to God, to ourselves, ourselves and to another human being the exact nature of our, our wrongs. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, God, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and in word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
Forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Step six. We were entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me, make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory Glory to to the the Father, and and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Step 7. We We humbly humbly ask God to remove our shortcomings. Seventh step prayer. My Creator, I am now willing that you should have all of me, good and bad. I pray that you now remove from me every single defect of character, which stands in the way of my usefulness to you and my fellows. Grant me strength as I go out from here to do your bidding. Amen. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and lean and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip us with everything good, that we may do God's will, working in us that which is pleasing in God's sight, through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Step 8. We made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Step 9. We We may direct direct men to to such people wherever wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. others. The Promises We are going to know a new freedom and a new happiness. We will not regret the past nor wish Mm -hmm. to shut the door on it. We will comprehend the word serenity and we will know peace. No matter how far down the scale we have gone, We will see how our experience can benefit others. That feeling of uselessness and self-pity will disappear. We will lose interest in selfish things and gain interest in our fellows. Self-seeking will slip away. Our whole attitude and outlook upon life will change. Fear of people and of economic insecurity will leave us. We will suddenly realize that God is doing for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Step 10. We We continue continue to take take personal personal inventory, and and when when we are wrong, promptly admitted it. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Step 11. We We sought sought through prayer and meditation to improve improve our conscious conscious contact with God, God, praying praying only for the knowledge of God's God's will for us. us, and the the power power to to carry carry that out. Eleventh step prayer. Lord, make me a channel of thy peace, that where there is hatred, I may bring love, 
that where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness, that where there is discord, I may bring harmony, that where there is error, I may bring truth, that where there is doubt, I may bring faith, that where there is despair, I may bring hope, that where there are shadows, I may bring light, that where there is sadness, I may bring joy. Lord, grant that I may seek rather to comfort than be comforted, to understand than to be understood, to love than to be loved. For it is by self-forgetting that one finds, it is by forgiven, giving that one is forgiven, it is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. Amen. Our Father, Amen. who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are weary by the changes and the chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Send the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Now, the time for us to say prayers, um, to see... Um, are there any special prayers? It's good to see Sue here, and Frida, and Vicki, and Carl. So we certainly pray for those uh, uh, suffering from COVID and for their families and for those who are caring for them. We pray for our country. We pray that we may find peace uh, and love together. I'd like to offer thanks for Joanna's 30th birthday today. Thank you. Thank you. How sweet. That's sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a miracle. Step 12. Having had a spiritual, spiritual awakening, awakening as, as a result, result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to others and to practice these principles in all our affairs. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you again for being with us tonight, and sweet dreams, sweet dreams.